Hi, my name is Gus Ackert, and this is the vlog of the... Who is it again? The Francis Brothers. Uh, I think they're just a bunch of hacks. Uh, it doesn't matter, I'm just going to get drunk anyway. Enjoy! Hey guys, what's up? I got something. Got something in the mail. It is a very inexpensive Micro Four Thirds GH for the GH4 speed booster. Picked it up for about, I think it ended up being about $190 Canadian, something like that. I've seen some footage online and it looks fantastic. Let's just test this out. I don't really have any lenses. What one I got was a EF or like a, a Canon EOS mount. So I can use those lenses on the GH4, but with the speed booster as well. Now I saved a few bucks by getting a, a used one off B&H. B&H Photo had a deal for a used one. It was quite a bit cheaper actually. It was like, I saved about 30 or 40 bucks, I think. So yeah, I picked this up from B&H. Looks pretty good quality. Um, cool. I'm pretty stoked for checking this out. And that's the micro fur thirds. Cool. So it goes from EF to uh, an M43 mount, which is uh, micro four thirds for the Panasonic. This is uh, the lenses are. I have one lens. Um, I have two of these plastic fifties, and. I've got, this is the one with the speed booster, and, and this is also shot at 4K, just to see uh, how much difference it is. And then I have one that's a plastic Nifty 50 on just a regular, uh, not a speed booster adapter for the Panasonic. Let's check it out. Same. This is the same shot, but with a uh, just a regular adapter. You can definitely see it's a lot darker, and it, this is all the exact same settings. You can see my dog, she's scared of me. And you can definitely see it's way quite a bit more cropped in. Um, I think you can almost see the whole lamp on the previous shot. But anyway, that's pretty cool. So that's basically it. Hey guys, uh, this is Dan. So what I've been doing recently is uh, Adobe Character Animator. Um, it's really cool, neat program. Um, as you can see here, it's live. Uh, sets up the webcam and the character here uh, will uh, do stuff like eyebrows, like it'll read the eyebrows, even pupils, as you can see. Uh, it'll read my pupils. So you have this live sort of um, live capture, but it goes into this 2D character. Um, yeah, even like head moves. It's uh, It's pretty neat. Lots of customization you can do. Um, I've, so I've drawn this. This is my first kind of test puppet. This guy is Gus Ackred. It's an old character of mine. Uh, he's probably like over about 10 years old. Probably close to close to 15 years old, actually. Oh, yeah. And it'll actually he'll blink, too. And he's like this grasshopper character. Uh, sort of hard drinking sort of bastard of a... Uh, he's a bastard with a heart of gold. Actually, me and my sister did it. I briefly did a sort of a web comic. Um, I think we got to about 15 pages. We were doing page every couple days or page a day. We got to about page 15. Uh, this was back in the day, probably five or six years ago now. Um, yeah, so he's like sort of this private detective character, and uh, yeah, has a has a drinking issue. So if you can see like his anten antennae there, like they sort of they depending on the I did notice something up here, actually. I don't know if you can see it, but there's actually like a little bit of a ghost here. Probably just from a, um, a part where I thought I erased completely, but I didn't in the Photoshop file. Very easy fix. Um, something wrong here going on. Like, again, I'm not, I'm just starting out with this. So it's just, I'm learning. I'm learning just like anyone else. Um, I'm not 
this side seems to be okay with the neck, but I don't know. He's really kind of comes down on that. Not sure why he detaches there. Uh, I'll have to figure that out. This is a separate, like a separate puppet. This walk cycle, to get the hang of this walk cycle was like, it was maddening. It's a separate puppet from the one that you just saw with him in the bar. Uh, sort of a little more of a lockdown, like facial expression sort of thing. This was will be used for more, well, you know, let him walk in to and from places. I've done some stop motion and stuff in the past, like um, over 10 years ago. And although I have these great, um, you know, I've always had uh, um, ideas to do stop motion or some kind of animation, but the time involved, I just didn't have the discipline. I still don't. And, you know, kudos to anyone that does. I've seen amazing stuff, even uh, a, but a local buddy of mine, Paul, he does stop motion, um, or he did do, do some stop motion stuff in the past. Um, Carrot Kid, um, I think his YouTube's channel's Carrot Kid, or it used to be, uh, but his like his stop motion stuff is amazing. So I'm not not trying to take anything away from these guys. Like that's amazing stuff, but um, for an entry point into animation, this is stuff is great. Um, at the very least, and for, and an and entry point for me. Uh, so I, I, I definitely want to keep going with this stuff because it's just so it um, it's so intuitive and it's very um, it's actually makes the animation quite fun. But yeah, there's a lot of customizable stuff. Um, let me just quickly cycle through some of the, that's a strut. I like that. So that actually kind of looks pretty good. He's kind of he's kind of cocky. Prance. Sneak. I like the sneak one because he's like. See, like these are all walk cycles that are gonna t like just making the cycles, the walk cycles alone, all these different ones, um, frame by frame is gonna be like a lot of tweaking and a lot of stuff. Um, traditionally, um, it's just gonna take a lot of time, and anything you can save time in animation is just is awesome. And uh, yeah, I don't I don't even know like any walk cycle I've ever made over the years hasn't even been like looked that good like frame by frame. So. If it even if it also looks better, then that's just even that's even more of a bonus. But that's it for now. That's just what I've been doing with Character Animator. A really cool program. So till next time. Well, so how fast is that now? You you get one stop. You get one stop of that. So technically it's two point five instead of three point five. Yeah, something like that. That's pretty fast.